Hey, what's your name? Amy. Where are you from? We promote. And what are you here to talk to us today? I'm here to talk to you about Snapchat. So tell us a little bit about Snapchat. So Snapchat has over 150 users. And 150? 150. And 10, 150 million? 150 million and 10 billion snaps are sent per day. Does that make it one of the world's fastest growing social media apps? Yes, it does. So which demographics most likely to sign up with Snapchat these days? Um, an older de demographic is beginning to adopt Snapchat as they realize it's becoming the newest innovative technology that everyone has to have. So you're a millennial, what's older? Older, I would say probably 30 plus. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> so today you're gonna to tell us about a few things. What is a Snapchat filter? So a Snapchat geo filter is basically a picture put over a Snapchat that can be used to determine uh, Snapchatter's location. For instance, if I was at Donut Time and Donut Time wanted to promote their store, I would take a photo of myself with my donut and a filter would go on top of that to let all my followers and friends know that I was at Donut Time. So that's something that a business could use to promote where their business is. Definitely, and just to get more brand awareness out there as well. So tell us about a Snapchat lens. So a Snapchat lens uses facial recognition to put a lens over someone's face when taking a selfie. And actions can be used to prompt other things that can come up. For instance, raise your eyebrows and, or open your mouth or try with a friend. So when you're talking about these lenses, are these the cartoon type things that we see uh, the young people using? Yes. And what are the uh, sort of companies that might use that? Well, in the past, Starbucks and Slurpee has used it to promote their drinks. So we'll have someone with Starbucks or Slurpee merchandise on, and then when they raise their eyebrows, a uh, drink will come up and the person will be drinking it. But it's not real. No, it's not real. It's all on the screen. Oh, okay. Good one. Now tell us about a Snapchat story. So a Snapchat story is basically a photo or video that anyone can post, and all their friends or followers can see this for up to 24 hours, and then it will be deleted. And what do you use that for? You can use that for just posting anything you like, um, just letting friends know what you're doing or anything like that. And a lot of celebrities use it to um, post promotional codes and to get people to add them on Snapchat. Brands and businesses can also do this. For instance, if a clothing website had Snapchat and had a promotional code on their Snapchat story, a lot of people would add them so they could get a cheaper deal. Good one. And what about a Snapchat ad? So a Snapchat ad is similar to a Snapchat story where it's posted for 24 hours and it's basically what businesses use to promote um, their website, articles, additional videos. It has an ad and it um, prompts a Snapchatter to swipe up to view more about it if they're interested. So is Snapchat a real thing or is it a flash in the pan? It's a real thing. And it's more than just sexting these days, isn't it? It's definitely more than just sexting. And, and, and can businesses use it, like, profitably? Definitely. There's so many users on it, and um, if they're definitely targeting a younger demographic, they definitely need to get on board. Excellent. And what's your favourite social media app? Um, I'd have to say Snapchat as well. Um, I love spending time using the lenses and seeing what's what they've created and everything. It's exciting. Amy from We Promote. Thanks very much for telling us all about Snapchat. Thank you.